Hey guys, how's it going? Ryan here. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make Halo Combat Evolved and pretty much any other game look better. While most of these tips will be very based around Halo Combat Evolved or Custom Edition, many of them can work for most other games, though this is more designed around that. So, let's get into it. Now, of course you're going to need PC and we'll be at the desktop. Now, there are a few things you have to do beforehand. There'll be a link in the description that will lead you to a site called Reshade. Now once you make it to Reshade, it'll look somewhat similar to this. Now it is pretty simple because all we got to do currently is just download it. Now once you have downloaded it, all you've got to do is double open, open up this Reshade setup, select game to install or uninstall from click on your Halo custom edition click open that's going to ask for permission you click yes now it's going to ask you to select the rendering API the game uses now for Halo custom edition it's going to be direct 3D9 if you're using it for any other games you can go on the reshade website and check what it is what API you're going to use on each game it's going to ask you if you want to download a collection of effects and that you just click yes and you wait for it to download okay now it's done all you gotta do is click uncheck all and then check all to make sh sure that all of these are checked click ok edit reshade and it's gonna have a bunch of things here considering this is a tutorial I'm gonna skip the tutorial so now I know what I'm doing you can click ok and you can exit out of that now all you've gotta do is open up Halo Custom Edition or whatever program you set to have reshade installed on okay now once it all loads you will left it you know this main menu and what I'd recommend doing is opening up any level doesn't matter which as long as you open up one of them now I'd recommend finding a good spot where you can see a little bit so you can compare everything now you probably have to click home to open it up now one of the first things we'll do is put AO in it and you should have MXAO at the top Tick that and it should load. Now, when you start off, it may look funny. Because if I do this, this little ambient occlusion thing doesn't look right. Because it's the black bits show where the ambient occlusion is. And as you see, it's not in the corners of polygons. Like, there should be one running down here, across here. Now, this is fairly simple to fix. You go edit proprosa settings and then you can tick that it's like this and boom it's fixed it's now as it should be now with that done I can click none now for the sample quality itself you can change it to whatever you want I'd recommend leaving it medium and if it's going somewhat slow for you I'd recommend just bumping it up or down I mean now there are a bunch of other options including fade out where at what distance will it stop you know working now there's a reason why you need to have this as a setting and I'll show you the one simple reason why you need it is for fog so let's say I grab it and chuck this distance all the way and set the fading distance to 1 if you have a quick look you can see that the fog itself goes or the ambient occlusion goes for everything let's look up there you shouldn't be able to see f that far ahead you can it's, now if I'm to show a better spot you should be able to see further so as you can see you shouldn't be able to see it that far it shouldn't be at least in that clarity so set it, make sure it's set to about 400 and you set that to zero and it should be for the most part pretty good as you can see there it's still a little too easy to see so we'll just bump this down until it looks about good which is to be about 330 and this is the reason why so you can actually don't have the ambient inclusion activating from too far away to the point where you can see it through the fog 
Now here's one last thing you can do. Search Bloom and you'll be have these three options. Do the PPFX Bloom. Now here it is. Now what you should do is if you already have open source installed you don't actually need the Bloom because there's an option in open source and does it a lot better because it's not just applying it carelessly. And what you need to do is you need to go to Lensdirt and click enable. That's pretty much it. Now we've got to find the actual Bloom so we can turn that one off. Set so 0 0.5 when we'll set it to negative 0. So, it's, so if I turn it up you can see it's effect on bright things but we don't need it not once. Now for those who don't know what lens dirt is I'll show you. As you can see when you look into something bright this lens dirt just shows up making the effect that you're looking into the sun a bit harder to see. Now there is going to be a few other things with the ambient occlusion that you might need to change. And this is all based on the fact that with, let's say, things like explosions, if I pause it correctly, you still have the ambient occlusion go over the top of it, due to the fact that it's all done in post-processing. So, so remember that any like textured 2D thing, when overlaid with the ambient occlusion, it's going to look a bit funny. So one of the things I would recommend doing it is actually toning down the effect of the ambient occlusion. Now, to what amount? I would say, I'd say maybe 750 or 700. Is obviously, if you think it should be set to something different, you should change that. Change it to whatever you see fit. Now, the one last thing that I'm not sure 100% how it works but one I'd recommend would be eye adaption so just chuck in eye there tick eye adaption and boom it's there now I don't recommend changing the settings too much but it I feel as if it tends to try and manipulate how actual eyes and that lighting works so I'd enable it now that's pretty much it the one last thing you should do is tick performance mode this will allow it to run a hell of a lot faster. Now, as you can see, the game, while should look better, and I can, and I, with the gameplay background footage, you'll see that the game looks significantly better with the ambient occlusion. That's the main thing that makes it look better. You've also got some of that lens flare as well. Now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you found it helpful. If you have any errors or problems with it, do tell me in the comments below and I'll try to help you as best I can. That's it today. Hope you have a great day and I hope to see you again.